This morning, we're coming to you from Studio B, and we're going to talk about a serious disease that you may not be aware of. Many patients say they felt that something just wasn't right, and then often after many years comes the diagnosis, and this is it, Cushing's syndrome. This morning, we take a closer look at this rare disorder in our ongoing series, Behind the Mystery, Rare and Genetic Diseases. Joining me to discuss this are Dr. James Finley, Professor of Clinical Medicine, Director of Community Endocrine Services, Medical College of Wisconsin, and joining us for a close-up and personal interview is Sarah Cook, and she's going to share her very special story. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. I had never heard of Cushing's syndrome. What is it? Well, Cushing syndrome is an unusual disorder that is a reflection of the overproduction of cortisol from the adrenal glands. Okay. The clinical manifestations usually occur in young and middle-aged women. They gain weight and it's often accompanied by high blood pressure, diabetes, depression, fatigue, muscle weakness, and sometimes even osteoporosis can occur. Women are often very confused by these symptoms. Because they're, they're often, very common. They're common, mm -hmm. and they're often dismissed by their physicians. So Sarah, you obviously started having some of these symptoms. Tell me what you were feeling and how you kind of came about your diagnosis. Well, it was, uh, I had a very unique diagnosis. Um, I actually had a set of twins, and I lost all my baby weight within two months, month and a half, and then suddenly I just felt just kind of sick one day. By the end of that week, I gained 10 pounds. And then the next week, another 10 pounds. All the while I was, you know, running two, three miles a day. Living your everyday grilled life. Grilled chicken, broccoli diet, you know, just, it went on for months until it got up to over 200 pounds. And wow. my normal weight was 135, 140. Sarah, did you have other symptoms that you'd like to share with us? My blood pressure was through the roof, uncontrolled, really? no matter you know all the different medications I took. My blood sugars were high, and this is even on like a low sugar diet, just you know very healthy diet. I had purple stretch marks like all over my stomach. Um, my skin was real thin and fragile. Uh, whites in my eyes were real yellow, just very overall unhealthy looking so and you're probably saying to yourself what oh is yeah. going on we, I went to several doctors and um, I got everything from overeating to closet eating to <laughs> you need to exercise more it's just the baby weight and I went straight to a, a doctor and I said can you please give me an MRI check me for a pituitary tumor and it came Lord out behold. positive, so so then I, you know, discovered the right doctors to go to, and over time I got it out, and so it was wonderful. Now, doctor, uh, obviously these are these are rare diseases that many many doctors maybe are not even aware of. It's kind of like a tricky diagnosis here, if you will. Most of the patients with Cushing's have a pituitary tumor. Not all. Some have adrenal tumors, so it really takes a skilled endocrinologist usually to establish the diagnosis and provide recommendation for the correct treatment. I really want to hear a lot more about this, especially what you've done to get better. So stay right there. Great information for us this morning. And coming up, you're going to hear more from Sarah. So stay with us. Welcome back. Before the break, we were discussing the rare disorder Cushing's syndrome. And joining me once again to talk about this rare disease, Dr. James Finling, Professor of Clinical Medicine, Director of Community Endocrine Services at the Medical College of Wisconsin, and Sarah Cook, a patient with Cushing syndrome. Mm -hmm. Sarah, let me start with you now. Tell me just basically how it affected your life, how it impacted you when you, when you realized you had this. Well, initially, before my surgery, I just had a newborn set of twins. Um, I was a first-time mom. Congratulations, by Thank the way. Thank you. Um, for me, that was the hardest. Yeah. Uh, what I always imagined myself as a mother, trying to be a great mom, the best 100%. You just couldn't do 100% with how sick you felt. It was like my, my brain and my self-image couldn't keep up with the changing body, with the actual physical change. So that was 
like emotionally and psychologically, Draining. it's very, very hard as well, just, you know, outside of just the physical changes. And then not even to know why for that matter. Yes. So. Doctor, when a patient comes to you and you see that they're suffering from this and you see what it's doing to them, what, what kind of lifestyle tips do you tell them to encourage them that they can get better? Well, I, I reassure them that there is treatment, effective treatment. And what are those? Primarily, surgery is the first treatment. Okay. Most of the patients either have a pituitary tumor or an adrenal tumor. Of course, we have to find the tumor and remove it. And about 80% of patients have a very good outcome after surgery. That's pretty good. That is very good. Those are good odds. Very good. But some do not and need additional therapies. Fortunately, we now have drugs available in the uh, development and the treatment of Cushing syndrome, so we're very excited about this. Can you tell me what they are and are there any safety concerns behind them? One of the medications that we now use to treat Cushing's blocks the effect of cortisol. Okay. This helps the patient to look and feel better. However, it cannot be used during pregnancy or in any woman who is anticipating getting pregnant. Also, that can lower the potassium levels, so potassium levels have to be checked frequently. There's no more questions. Now there's answers and there's hope. Absolutely. Tell me how you're feeling. I feel wonderful. Um, after my surgery, I actually have another set of twins. Oh! So <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you had twins? And then you mm -hmm. had another set of twins. Exactly. God so. bless you. <laughs> so they're uh, they're a handful. They're a lot of fun, and uh, I actually uh, got on some medication uh, finally that blocks the effects of high cortisol. So I feel like I can be a mom again, the mom I always wanted to be. Well, I'm so it's been glad a lifesaver. You listen to your gut instinct. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will say she looks fabulous. Thank you look you. great. Yes. Thank you. And congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Are we done or are you going to go for our more kids? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, my sanity couldn't take anymore. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you, doctor, so much. My pleasure. Really my appreciate pleasure. the information. Now, if you or a loved one or even a close friend needs to learn more about Cushing syndrome, visit the website, your Cushing patientadvocate.com. That's your Cushing patientadvocate.com. Great info there.